Robert Rucker was born in Atlanta, Georgia, but his family moved to New York City when he was two years old. He discovered boxing at the age of 11, training at Gleason's Gym under the guidance of Billy Giles. Rucker earned immediate success in the sport, compiling an amateur record of 41-4 and four and getting the nickname of Pee-wee, as he always seemed to be the smaller man in sparring sessions. By the age of 15, he won numerous titles, including the New York Junior Olympics, but was disqualified from the National AAU Junior Olympics because he was too good. Rucker turned professional while still a teenager, attending Brandeis High School during the day and boxing at Gleason's Gym in the evening, where he sparred with the likes of Hector Camacho and the Benitez brothers, Frankie and Wilfred. He had a classic outlook on both boxing and music, preferring to listen to 1950s doo-wop while hoping to emulate the ring professionalism of past boxing legends like Sandy Sadler, Ike Williams, and Kid Chocolate. Competing as a lightweight, Rucker was considered as a tune-up fight for WBC featherweight champion Salvador Sanchez, but manager Billy Giles decided against it, not wanting Rucker to drain himself to make the 126-pound weight limit. Rucker compiled a one-loss record of 17-0 before suffering his first defeat against Kenny Bogner in January of 1981, getting stopped in the sixth round. Rucker then took a year off from the sport, rising to the junior welterweight division. Fighting for New York's first licensed woman promoter, Nancy Shaka, Rucker won nine straight before getting his first televised exposure against veteran Willie Fireball Rodriguez. And uh, Leonard claims Willie hit him with the hottest shot he's ever taken. Rodriguez's biggest win, stopping Leroy Haley, who went on to the uh, WBC Junior Welterweight title. He stopped Haley in the 12th round. Rucker at 28 and 1, 15 by knockout. He won his first 16 professional fights at 135 pounds. And then in January of 81, it was stopped by Kenny Bogner. It was 20 shots by Bogner that wilted Rucker. Rucker, a, a stable mate of Macho Camacho, who we'll see later on on Sports World. So both uh, Rucker and Camacho are managed by Billy Giles. Rucker's certainly starting now like he means business. He's very sharp. He's very fast. His combinations are moving. But he's in against that cagey old ring experience of Willie Rodriguez. Wait, wait. It remains to be seen what the loss of his trainer and best friend will do. Right now he's connecting on Willie. That's two thunder shots. And Rodriguez right back. So Rucker has to tie him up. Mentioned earlier, Tony Tompkins trainer of Rucker, departing from the uh, Rucker camp yesterday of that upset Pee-wee. Rucker was disheartened and didn't know if he could go through with it, but when it was pointed out to him that that's what the road to the championship is, a lot of hard knocks outside the ring that you got to overcome so that you can overcome the ones inside the ring. It ain't easy, as they say in the trade. And then when he realized that the fight doctor would be providing the uh, color commentary, he said, no question, I want to be there. Now look across the ring as uh, Fireball Rodriguez comes out to meet up with Pee Wee Rucker. This is round three. An interesting exchange. Florio said, you're taking the juice out of this kid. Now he's dropping his left, throw a right hand very fast over his left. Well, he, there's nothing very fast about Willie Rodriguez right now. The interesting thing in that corner was Rodriguez made two statements. One, am I cut yet? And the other one, in a very gentlemanly fashion, he said, may I have some water, please? I've never heard that kind of language in a corner. Willie Rodriguez, a polite fighter. There goes the right hand, and Florio wanted him to drop in there. It did not affect Rucker, but... I can't wait to see how the Venezuelans deal with that. Meanwhile here, Willie's doing much better this round than he has the first two where he was just taking a systematic pacing. Pasting from the master and much more youthful Robert Rucker. Oh, there's the right hand. It hurt Rodriguez. Okay. Great combination by Rucker following it up. Rodriguez covering up. We're down to 15 seconds left. In the round. That was 
the best punch of the bout a moment ago, the right hand by Rucker, which led to the left. World, the Macho Man, Hector Macho Camacho, in a non-title fight going against the Latin American uh, lightweight champion, Rafael Williams. Robert Rucker, watch his head. And the crowd reacting to the underdog, Willie Rodriguez. Anytime Rodriguez gets anything going, the crowd responds. On to round five, and let's listen in between rounds to the corner of Willie Rodriguez. At one point there, he says, this guy's a dummy. He doesn't know what you're doing when you're mixing him up. Oh, Rock, Rucker's going to fool me. He's doing pretty good, except I believe he blew the last round. So we're at 37-39. Robert Rucker ahead as far as I can see. Three rounds to one. 23 at all. slow down and permitted Rodriguez to get in those combinations which have confused and befuddled Robert Rucker. Rucker's face is starting to lump up and get red here. Round seven from Corpus Christi, Texas, and pretty disappointment on the corner of Pee Wee Rucker. They felt that uh, they would have an easy time with Willie Rodriguez. Not the case. Not the case. I have it quite unofficially dead even now. Rodriguez has been able to beat uh, Rucker to the punch and win those little set battles. Only when he stands still does Rucker get off first, and then he usually lands a solid punch. Scoring on the 10-point must here in Texas and handled by the three judges. Punching right hand by Rodriguez did not have much impact, but Rucker ties him up. Referee talking to Rodriguez, down to keep the punches up. In January of 81, he was stopped by Kenny Botner. Oh, left hand by Rucker. Again, Rucker now trying to outspeed him. And this is where the legs come in. If Rodriguez's legs can carry him out of danger, he'll get out of there. He just pins him to the rope to his head. With a lot of uh, enthusiasm. But he comes back with the combination. The crowd was getting a little testy. They did not like the uh, holding on the ropes. And uh, Rodriguez uh, with a good finish. It's been Rucker's round. Final second, round seven. Work it in. Work it in.
selfless Rucker. Well, we can only guess that Robert Peely Rucker is an upset fighter. We have him that Tony Tompkins, his trainer, departed from the Rucker camp. And it appeared back in the eighth round that he wanted to quit. Now, his stablemate, Hector Macho Camacho, just went into the corner to try and spark Rucker. Camacho coming up to go against Rafael Williams later on on Sports World, came running out of the dressing room into the corner of Pee Wee Rucker. Camacho's still here. Five. 
five seconds. And you get the feeling one good punch could finish this. One good haymaker could finish this, and yet he can't get it. It's 15 seconds to go. Oh, look at look at Rodriguez. And now final seconds of the bout. So Rodriguez and Rucker go the distance. The decision was a disputed one, with Rucker getting viciously heckled as he headed back to the locker room. He took off another year from the sport before returning against top 10 welterweight contender Milton Mad Dog Guest. Pee Wee, we haven't seen you in the felt form since October of 1983. You've had only one fight since then. Why the long layoff? Well, I had a little manager problems, but um, all that's behind me now, and I'm looking for bigger and better things right now. How much do you think the layoff set you back uh, from getting a title shot? Wouldn't you have been in line for a title shot by now? Yeah, I think I would have had one by now, but um, them the breaks of life. Um, I think I hope to have one by the end of this year or early next year. Um, I've been training constantly, but it's just that after my training, it wasn't no fight behind it. But now I train seven weeks. I'm in good shape. And I'm, I'm here to put on a show. And a tough opponent in your first fight back in Milton Guest. Oh, a very tough opponent. You know, you know he fought Milton. Um, I feel that uh, Milton is not in my class. Uh, and I'm going to try to put Milton out of my class, too, you know. It's going to be a show, though. He, um, he's a good fighter. He comes to me. He, um, I think his style is made for my style. 29 and 1 with 15 knockouts. Milton Guest, 17 and 2, 15 knockouts. Says he's got some butterflies coming back, but looking forward to it. Pee Wee with one fight in the last 20 months, still ranked ninth, by the way, by the WBA. I really don't know how that can happen. A uh, fighter has only had one fight in 20 months, he's still ranked in the same position. However, he is. This one is scheduled for 10. Good right hand, really a good shot to the chin by Pee Wee Rucker. And he followed two nice jabs as well. He's been throwing the jab well in this first round. Guest coming on, good right hand by Guest. He even the score. Guest working the inside very well. Short with those punches. And Guest answering with a good jab of his own. Guest is strong. Slashing left hook landed for Pee Wee Rucker. Good start to the scheduled 10 round welterweight bout between Pee Wee Rucker and Milton Guest. This is professional boxing from the Felt Forum in Madison Square Garden. Still low, but uh, I'll tell you, Sam, with that uh, powerful Taylor belt that uh, Guest has on. Good left hook, and there's Rucker opening up with that left hook. He's doubling and tripling up with that hook. That's what he did with Billy Parks as soon as he got the opening. He just rapid fired with that. That's what I mean about the little things that you don't teach. They come naturally. He, he triples up very often with that hook. Once he throws it, he figures, well, I can do it again and again. And that's what he does. There's that left hook landing to the side of the head. The hook is the punch that's getting across now. Pee Wee, Pee -wee Rucker's left hook. Pee Wee in the dark trucks. Rucker is beating Guest to the punch. And I think it was from the heads coming together late in the round. Uh -huh. The final seconds. From the back of uh, Milton Guest's trunks. There's the cut. It's to the, in the right corner. The corner of the right eye. And when the heads came together, he grimaced in pain. And I think that cut is bothering him a little bit. I think that blood may be getting into the eye. Good combination scored by Pee Wee Rucker. That blood is bothering Milton Guest. He's wiping the eye. And Rucker digs to the body. Rucker's going to get to him if he's going to be preoccupied by that cut. Rucker opening up the attack. Good right hand gets in. Rucker lands the right and Guest is wobbling him down. He goes. 
The count is four. Mandatory eight count. Seven. Eight, take it. He took it in the corner. He says he's all right, but that was a wicked right hand he took. A minute 40 to go in the round. A long On five. Rucker. Guess is going to have to hold on to, to stay alive in this round. His legs are shaky. He's popping that jab, though, trying to keep Rucker off him. Guest still very wobbly, got caught with a glancing right hand. He should not move out, he should not move out at all. He should stay inside, grab him, hold him, do whatever, whatever you can to survive the round. Guest is ready to go, he's been hit by a couple of low blows again. Rucker has been wild with some of those left hooks. All those punches are getting over now by Pee Wee. If he's not getting all of them, he's getting some of them. Guest has been able to block a couple with the gloves, but he is shaky. 55 seconds to go on the round. It's still a lot of time. Pee Wee could still do it because Guest is hurt. And Rucker. he's taking punishment in that corner. Pee Wee is not wasting any punches. Quick right hand again by Rucker. And he set him right up against the ropes with that right hand. And now Guest is fighting on guts alone. 35 seconds to go on the round. Guest trying to survive somehow. Big swelling under the left eye. Get a low blow. And Joe Santarfia cautions Rucker. And he's brushing away the left eye. There might be something wrong with Guest's left eye. 20 seconds, less than 20. Guest trying to hold on, covering up. And now fighting back lands a left hook, and Rucker holds on. He's tired, arm weary from all the punches he's thrown. Here's the end of round five. Guest to survive. Now, obviously a big round for Rucker. The question is, is he spent? He went all out to stop Milton Guest and couldn't do it. Well, Sam, uh, when Guest went to his corner, he was really rocking on his feet. And when Joe Santapia broke him up just before the end of the last round, when he pushed him back, he almost fell down. So the legs are pretty well gone. It started, the round started, with Guest being bothered by that cut in the corner of the right eye and paying so much attention to it, he left himself open, and Rooker took advantage and finally knocked him down. Guest still looking a little shaky. The one thing for Rucker here is that he's opened up a lead so that he could maybe coast around. And I think Guest has got a problem now with the left eye. Yes, he has. Look at it. A lot of swelling under that left eye. That eye is going to open up pretty bad at the moment. The heads have been banging together in close. And Milton Guest punches are now coming uh, with a lot less power than they have in the early part of the fight. But he got that right hand in. Rucker is still looking a little tired. Oh, yeah. Rucker Rucker is he's shaking up. Rucker got him with the right hand, and he's in trouble. And it's Rucker holding on. Though Guest is still a little shaky on the legs, his legs still a little wobbly. He has come on the attack. A good right hand, and again on the inside. Rucker is holding on. Rucker's a little glassy eye. A lot of time to go in the sixth round. A minute 20 to go. It's Guest on the attack. Rucker backing off. What a comeback by Milton Guest. You ought to keep throwing that right hand. He shouldn't waste any time. He's got Pee Wee Rucker in trouble. He should pop that right hand, get in close, and just pop that. That's the one he can land with. Well, Rucker, who spent a lot of energy in that fifth round, came out looking tired here in the sixth and got caught. Yeah, now look at his legs. They both have the same type of legs. Sea legs. 40 seconds left in the round. And it's been a round that belongs to Milton Guest. Milton Guest is tired. He's taking the lead. He's not letting Rucker get off. He's doing, he's punching first, and that's what he should do, and that's what he has to do if he has any chance in this fight at all. Rucker is very tired, and Rucker's been hurt in this round. 15 seconds to go in the sixth round. Rucker has looked into his corner several times for instruction, trying to tie up Guest. Both fires, fighters are weary as we come to the bell, ending round six. A lot more tired than Pee Wee. Yes, got in the right hand, but he's looking shaky. He is shaky. He's shaky on his legs. He has been. Came back pretty good in that last round, but his legs have been shaky for three rounds now. But suddenly it's Rucker holding on, a very tired Pee Wee Rucker. Both fighters very tired here. 20 seconds to go. 
in the seventh round. He missed the punch and he almost fell down. Milton Guest. He's got to keep that left hand out. I'm talking about Guest. He's got to keep it out even if he does nothing with it. This is professional boxing from the Felt Forum in Madison Square Garden. That time the left of the body landed. Rucker opens up, has Guest in a little bit of trouble here. He's taking all the play away from uh, Milton Guest. Big body shots, real good body shots by Pee Wee Rucker. Again, a solid right to the body, and again, Guest is shaking up. And he hasn't thrown any punches, Sam. The fight may be stopped. If you don't show some sort of offense, the referee will stop the fight. Coming to the end of round eight, the big finish by Rucker has probably given him this round. And the only knockdown. Rucker opening up again with those quick hands of his. He missed that left hook that would have done the trick. He got in the right hand. Guess trying to fight him off. Guess is throwing that right hand now, but he's got nothing on it. Good right by Rucker. He almost went down from the right hand. Guess he's ready to go right and covers. Now. Rucker with the left. Rucker going for it now. About a minute to go in the round. No offense by Milton Guest at all. Joe Santapi will watch it very closely. If he doesn't throw punches, I'm sure Joe will stop the fight. Also, throws a punch across his hands. Here we go with the 10th and final round. This has been an outstanding fight. Two good fighters, Milton Guest in the white, Pee Wee Rucker in the blue. The chant is Pee Wee. Mm -hmm. Ninth ranked contender in the world, according to the WBA. He very, very little left. He just in there now to survive. He wants to go to 10 rounds. This fight could be stopped with, at any moment. One big flurry by Rucker could do it. Guest is rubbery leg. Just shaking with every punch and not throwing anything on his own. Just wobbling across the ring. But Rucker is tired. Lands the combination. Nice counter by Guest. Under a minute to go in the fight. But Pee Wee Rucker, to his credit, has dominated this fight since the seventh, since the seventh round. Final seconds. There'll be no knockout in this one. But this has been quite a fight. And the fans are cheering, and they're on their feet. It's a good one. Pee Wee Rucker has the look of a winner, and he dominated the last four. And Goldberg. The winner is Robert Pee Wee Rucker. And the crowd loves it. Pee Wee Rucker from Milton Guest. has come back after a layoff of over a year and has won the decision over Milton Guest in quite a fight for Pee Wee Rucker. He has now won 11 in a row. He is now 30 and won as he wins a unanimous decision. Oh, thank you very much, John. I want to thank Mr. Hal Weston and yourself very much. Hey, were you, uh, did the layoff, were you thinking about the layoff? I mean, before the fight, were you thinking you'd be a little ring rusty? Well, before the fight I was, but once I got into the fight and um, my corner just telling me, don't worry about Pee Wee, you're all right, you trained seven weeks, you was training three months before that, and nothing came off, but you're back, and I'm very happy. You were in a little bit of a trouble there for a while, weren't you? Well, no serious trouble, mm -hmm. just tired trouble from being ring rust, right. John. Did you get hurt? Were you shook up at any time where no. you didn't know what was going on? No, I was never shook uh -huh. up to that stage. I was always in control of my mental factors. He's a pretty good fighter. I mean, this is the type of fight that you really needed coming back. Almost definitely, John. I needed this fight like I need a championship fight right now. How long do you think that'll take? Well, hopefully real How long real would you soon. like it to take? Yeah, yeah, I would like it to take uh, five fights, maybe six, because um, I really didn't have good activity over these last year and a couple of months, John. Are you all straight now with your managerial problems? Oh, very much. I'm very happy. I want to thank Mr. Tony Tompkins and Mr. Robert Miles and uh, my corner man, Mr. Connie Bryant, very much. And I'd like to thank Mr. Howard Weston and yourself for bringing me back to the garden like I belong. This is my home, New York, and um, if I can fight here, I would like to keep it up. Okay, and we'd love to have you back. Thank you, Mr. John. A good Connie. start back. Keep coming. 
And good luck to you. Pee wee Rocker. Back to Rucker returned to the felt form less than two months later, taking on journeyman William Clayton. Clayton may have had the shortest retirement in boxing history, as he had hung up his gloves the day before getting the call to be a last-minute replacement to face Rucker. Clayton had injured his shoulder in a motorcycle accident and tricked Rucker into thinking he was a southpaw before he switched his fighting stance. Oh boy, is Clayton ever a target? <laughs> he is 6'3", 148 pounds, straight up and down. He must be able to punch a little bit. Half of his uh, victories came by knockout. He's only had eight wins. He's got five losses, but four of the wins came as a result of a knockout. Last fight was in June when he lost an eight-round decision in Poughkeepsie to Floyd Peavy. He's fought most of his fights in Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. He's a flat-footed fighter. He doesn't dance around. He's standing there waiting to pop that left hand, it looks like. All right, here's a double task for Pee Wee Rucker. What does he have to do? One against the southpaw, and two against the guy with the long, longer what reach. What he's got to do is get inside, move inside, and punch in there. Try to stick his head on the chest of uh, Willie Clayton. Let's go, Bucks! Round three, scheduled for 10, and Willie Clayton has turned around to fight right-handed. Uh, what the Pee Wee's trying to do, he's trying to rush in there. You saw what he tried to do just a few moments ago, but uh, Clayton wouldn't let him in there. Now, what do you make of this, John? Clayton switching around to right hand. A little confusion for Pee Wee yeah, Rucker? Yeah, Let's see how Rucker does here. He seemed to have some problems with the southpaw style in the first two rounds. Let's see what happens. Now he seems to have be having problems getting inside. Clayton is not an easy guy to fight. He's a very elusive fighter. He's a pretty good boxer. He looks a little awkward, but he's a pretty good boxer. Pee Wee is a little frustrated with him. The height and the reach. That's a pretty sharp jab that Clayton throws. Throws it well. I think he's a natural right-hander. I think he started out uh, as a left-hander, but I think he's a natural right-hander. The way he throws those punches. Let's see what he does with a right hand. He rocked oh, Pee Wee Rucker. Right Rucker Otherwise. is hurt. And Al Lobieko. Why did he do that? I don't understand. Why did he do that? There was no reason for him to break him open. Another right hand. And he's stopping the fight. Stop the Al fight. Bianco has stopped the Stop fight. the fight. I don't understand why. Mm, that was not that was not a good move by Al Bianco. He stopped the fight and he stopped it too soon. Pee Wee has, has, took a lot of blows, but look at him. Look at him. He's sharp and clear and everything else. It's a, it's a bad move. It was a bad move by Al Bianco. There's no standing eight count in New York, and I think the first time the... Although Bianco started to step in and realized, maybe he thought that there was a standing eight, and he stopped. Well, let it continue, and then decided to stop it. There's that okay, solid that's right. the right hand. Now he's, uh, he's taking more. Now uh, you'll see how Lobianco rush in. Now he, not, he should not have stopped the fight at this point, not at all. Unless, as you said, Sam, he thought the there was an eight count. I don't know what he had in his mind. All right, now it continues, and here comes Clayton again. There's no doubt that, that Rucker is in trouble here. But two punches have landed, and that's it. A quick stoppage of the fight. A very disappointed Pee Wee Rucker. Rucker was slated to face Roger Stafford two months after the defeat, but suddenly announced his retirement. He remained out of the sport for two years before signing with a promotional group called the Hudson County Express. He fought two times under their banner, winning both fights, until once again retiring from the sport. Rucker was last seen working for the New York City Transit Authority as a bus driver in Harlem. He finished with a boxing career record of 30 wins against two losses.